Hi, my name is Megan, and this is day 20 of the Four Weeks in the Word series. My passage is Romans 8, 18 through 21. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed to us. For the creation waits in eager anticipation for the children of God to be revealed. For creation was subjected to futility, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who subjected it in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. I walk my dog at night to clear my head after long days of work. And during every walk this week, I have been overwhelmed by the suffering of this world. I witnessed a student lose a parent to COVID, a friend diagnosed with cancer, racism, injustice, uncertainty, the list goes on. And every night I pray, God, please make it stop. In this passage, Paul has just finished talking about how suffering is guaranteed. Similar to today, Roman Christians were inundated with suffering, living in a culture that was completely counter to Jesus's teachings. The last thing they wanted to hear was, guess what? It's going to be hard. What stood out to me was that Paul validates our suffering, stating that all of creation is subject to the same futility or frustration. God's creation is not designed to experience suffering. Rather, we are supposed to live with him in his perfect peace. The good news is that this suffering is temporary. Jesus is coming back to restore us to who we are meant to be. So to paraphrase Paul, today is going to be hard. You're not alone in your frustration. And Jesus is coming back to make all things new. Have a great day.